Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology and today we will discuss why are the trines the first, fifth and the ninth houses and among them the fifth and the ninth houses. Why are they called supporting houses? Who are they supporting? They are supporting themselves <laughs> or they are supporting somebody else and why have they been kept out of the angular houses which which are the angular houses? What are angles? Angular houses are the Kendra houses, the first, fourth, seventh, and the eleventh house, right? No, tenth house. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, then click the thumbs up. And if you want to do some donation, then the link to PayPal is there. And you can go and donate some money there or else continue watching this video and learning astrology and share this knowledge with everybody that you meet in the streets also. <laughs> well, some somebody commented that day, not, not somebody, two, three persons commented that, why do you smile so much? Control your smile. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> What's the problem in smiling? Keep smiling. <laughs> All right. Just on a lighter note, I said. Now, why are the trines called supporting houses, the fifth and the ninth house? Because they can sustain the lagna, which is the first house. Now, the point about the fifth and the ninth houses are even if they do not exist for you, you can still live. They are not mandatory for you. You means who? The Lagna, the first house. First house is Lagna, the number one. That is why all we always say, I did this, I said this, I am like this, I want like it. See, I is also one. <laughs> that is how the structure is designed unconsciously people do not understand but that is how things are happening now when we say the lagna it means me my body my purpose etc my health also my image my reputation my intelligence especially people say intelligence is the fifth house but they do not know the importance of lagna now what are the kendra houses the first fourth seventh and tenth they represent the pillar of the horoscope which means that the first house which is you your body fourth house is your home your property your land your assets and then seventh house is your marriage your spouse your wife or husband and tenth house is your work your status name fame career the way you are perceived in this world what others think of you that is the first house and what you do that is the 10th house. But the two houses, 5 and 9, are not kept here. What is 5th house? 5th house is the house of what you love doing. 5th house is the house which has the power to drive you mad. And 9th house is the house of God, of guidance, spirituality, wisdom, higher learning, higher belief system. But then, why are they called supporting houses? Because even if there is nothing in this world that you like or nobody in this world that you like, you can still live. Even if you are an atheist or you do not follow a spiritual path, I would not call only atheist. I would call anybody who does not have a spiritual path. They do not have a ninth house. But you can still live. Because it is not affecting your Kendra. Kendra is the first, fourth, seventh, tenth. Which means that when you are operating in this life, in this world, you do not need the fifth and ninth house. You can do without them also. And you can do away with them. But Parashara has designed the system in such a way, such beautifully. Mind-blowing. Parashara Muni is... There is nobody like him. <laughs> he has put the 5th and ninth houses as supporting houses to the 
Lagna itself. And Lagna is the most important house of the Kendra. There you go. Which means if you want the Kendra to function, the Lagna has to be good. When I say good, I do not mean benefits like Jupiter, Mercury, Moon or Venus has to be placed. I do not mean that. I am not talking of planets or placement of the Lagna Lord. I am not talking of anything. Or I am not even talking of the sign of the Lagna. I am only talking of how strong the first house is. Forget about the details. What makes it strong or weak? Malefics, benefics, keep aside all the planets. But I am saying first house, which is the body, the self, his thought process. For that to be strong, the fifth and ninth houses have to be strong. That is why they are called benefic houses. Why in the universe is the fifth house and the ninth house called the benefic houses? Because the planet sitting there, they will have a very strong impact on whom? On the Lagna. And that will decide the flavor of the horoscope. That has the power to alter everything. See, Kendra is your life. What you do in the physical existence. First house, your body, the way you are looking. You look great, you look average, you look horrible. Yes, these are the terminologies they, get, they have given, right? In this world these days. Oh, he looks great. He doesn't look that great. She looks beautiful. She looks hot. <laughs> Somebody looks cold. <laughs> so that is how you are being judged. That's the first house. And fourth house is you will be either in your home or you will be in the tenth house in the office. Or you will be either alone, which is the lagna, the single person, or you will be with somebody else, which is the tenth, uh, which is the seventh house. So you are either yourself single or you are with somebody or you are in the fourth house in your home or you are in the tenth house. Most of the day or most of the life of a person is spent in this, in the four Kendras. That is why they are called pillar, pillar of the horoscope. Because most of the time of your life you spend in the Kendra houses. But the prerequisite is the fifth and ninth house has to be strong equally. Otherwise the Kendra will not function. You can have a million benefit influences in the Kendra. Of course, you cannot have million, but I'm just saying category, categorically to ensure how much ever power is there in the Kendra. It is like having an engine without oil <laughs> or without electricity. Either way, you want to run it. How, what will you do by great planets in the Kendra if the trines are spoiled. <laughs> now let's quickly see what is the fifth house. Fifth house is, is it is the house of love and that is why it is in loosely it's translated as romance which is actually not correct. Or you can say also it is correct but romance is a different area. Here fifth house means whatever you love doing. That means what you love doing is very important because that shapes your programming, that shapes your inner thoughts. That is why fifth house is the house of mantra, which is the house of the mind. Is it the fifth house? No. Mind is the fourth house. Mana, because fourth house in the natural zodiac is known as the sign of cancer, which is the sign of heart, emotions, mother. And what is the fifth house? Fifth house is the house of mantra. What is the meaning of the word mantra? Mantra means mana trayate, that is known as mantra, which means that which delivers the mind. Because second house is gain. So Gain of the fourth house is the fifth house. Fifth house is the house of gain of the mind, which means mental peace. What is the gain of the mind? If somebody's mind is always disturbed, it's like he, he the having the mind is a problem for it. 
Yes. It's better to not have the mind than to have it. And if the mind is peaceful, calm, then you are very happy. That means that Manatra, which is the fifth house, Manatrayate, you need the fifth house to have a good fourth house. Is it understood? <laughs> and then when you have a good fifth house, your projection of this world is very good. Then the Lagna is naturally strong. When I say strong, I mean it's good. The Lagna can do what it wants. Because fifth house is the projection. What, what you think of this world what you think is good, what you think is bad, what you think is right, what you think is wrong. Because that is how you function. Fifth house is the house of functioning and planning. Without the fifth house, none of this can happen. That is why it is kept as a supporting house. And then let's come to the next house, the supporting house, which is the next house, the ninth house. What is the ninth house? Ninth house is the house of divine wisdom, guru, spirituality, God. And it is also another supporting house like the fifth house. Which means whenever you hear this term, let me show it. Good people. See this good people syndrome is the fifth house. Whatever goodness you see is there in the fifth house. But fifth house alone without the ninth house is of not much use. Because the ninth house is fifth from the fifth. It is the higher octave of the fifth house. What it means when I say higher octave? Higher octave simply means that a higher version of that means it is the projection of the projection, which is God. <laughs> that means for your projection to be good, the ninth house has to be strong. Otherwise, the fifth house is of no, not much use. I won't call it useless, but not much use, I would say. That is why you see in this world that there are so many good people doing bad things. So many so-called good people indulging in wrong, illicit, nefarious activities. Why? If they are good, why? And is it that their goodness is fake? No. I know so many good people who have done so many wrong things. Why? Because the problem is not in the fifth house. The sustenance of the fifth house, that is in the ninth house. So to the degree you are Connected to the divine source spiritually, to the degree you are connected to God, to that degree, the fifth house is functioning properly. And to the degree you are away from the divine wisdom, away from the divine grace, to that degree, your fifth house reduces. Because when the time of allurements come, your goodness can go away. And then you have the 6th house, 8th house and the 12th house. The difficulties that you face in this world. They are enough to pull you down. See, there is only one 5th house. And there is there are 3 negative houses. 6th house, 8th house, 12th house. 3rd house is also a mild malefic house. But I am ignoring that as of now. So you see there are three malefic houses, 6, 8 and 12 and you have three trines, the first, fifth and ninth. First house is also a Kendra and also it is a Trikona. But if you consider the first house to be a Kendra, you only have the fifth and the ninth house. So trying to survive in this world with goodness away from God is of not much use because eventually the 6th, 8th and the 12th houses will pull it down. What is 8th house? Sexual scandals. <laughs> Have you seen photos of people 
of politicians of presidents of big big countries or president of the greatest country ever <laughs> what happens sir how could you become the president of a country without a good fifth house how can you become the president of a country without having a good projection how is it possible it is not possible but if your projection is so great how come you are caught up in sexual scandal with whoever and that is just one example then there can be so many other people that means the ninth house is not harmonizing well with the fifth house that means your ultimate projection is not on spirituality fifth house is fifth from the fifth projection of projection that is the base where above which you make all projections if there is a problem there then the fifth house can collapse at any moment that is why you will hear people telling oh he was a very good person why he did like this all the goodness is swayed away by the sixth house eighth house and the twelfth house but the only house that can protect you is the ninth house so to the degree you are connected to the divine source to that degree you are protected because then the lagna stands strong any doubts <laughs> because if you have the ninth house then it is like having another fifth house on a higher level because the ninth house is the only house in the entire 12 houses which gives you the power to fight the sixth house eighth house and the 12th house tell me is there any other house which helps you to do that if you think the seventh house helps you oh my god <laughs> you are seriously mistaken <laughs> that is why there are examples in this world that the moment the person has collapsed financially the spouse leaves i will not take the name of the gender because if i say then some feminist can blast at me by saying oh he is a sexist he is only saying that females will leave it is not only females the men also so many people i know they say after marriage they will leave us leave their wives why oh they are not charming anymore which is true because after certain age the the beauty of the women that degrades she doesn't look like a apsara anymore <laughs> and suddenly the man the husband he can collapse his business his finances can go down so if you think the seventh house will protect you well i am sorry to say but you are seriously mistaken the seventh house only will stay till the time you are strong once once you have collapsed the seventh house will also collapse <laughs> because when the lagna collapses the whole horoscope collapses that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments or any other suggestions on why they are called supporting houses then please let me know in the comment sections or else until next time bye bye see you